Okay, this is my dinner here. I'm making a low carbish type smoothie, but it's got plenty of spinach in it. I got blueberries, uh, some flax milk, some vegan protein powder. I'm actually going to have a sweet potato. I've got some raisins on here for some iron, and I'm and this wouldn't be my first choice to put on here, but a tablespoon of this blackstrap molasses. Sorry, it's so dark. Um, is a really good source of iron. It actually has a 20% of the daily allowance in one tablespoon. So I'm going to put that on my sweet potato and see if that's going to be any good. I got a delivery, a grocery delivery last night, right Bella? And um, we're going to see what's inside. These things came out of the bag. I've got my um, almond milks. I like to get those delivered so I don't have to lug them from the store. And orange juice uh, for my hubby. I got a bunch of these Granny Smiths. Um, and then um, some whole grain, 10 grain bread. Uh, this one's for my, my family, but I probably won't because it's not, and I won't, it's gluten, not gluten free and it might be kind of hard on me. I've got some onions. And you know what? This is new. They're carrying this veggie burger. I've never seen this before. Hillary's, and it's basically everything free corn free, gluten free, yeast free. Got healthy fats, dairy free, soy free, egg free, nut free. <clears throat> I think that's great that it's egg free because it's hard to find a veggie burger that's not egg free. And this has so many great things in it. It's got arugula, it's got um, dandelion, kale, parsley, you know, sweet potato, all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm gonna try these. They're supposed to be like the world's best veggie, veggie burger. I'm gonna try these and see what they're like. Um, and then I got this box. Usually I'll get a produce box, but they called this a juicing box. So I don't know what's in it. Um, I don't know what their idea of juicing is, but uh, that's why I got the Granny Smiths so I could actually juice those in here in case they didn't have them in here. But it looks like there are some already. Um, some little Granny Smiths. And I guess here's a couple of ideas. Oh, can't beat it juice. That's what's in it. <clears throat> and then um, kale and carrot green juice. I guess I should have everything in here to make these juices. So that's really neat. They have uh, the carrying juicing boxes now. So I've got all the little, ooh, look at those beautiful beets. Looks like we picked them right out of the earth and didn't even wash them. <laughs> got some big cucumbers. So all my stuff is in here that I'm supposed to use for juicing. I think I'm going to make one of these juices right now. So I'm going to make the can't beat it juice and all of this came in my box and it's all organic so I've got two small green apples I'm going to use half of the beetroot because it's pretty big um, and then a little piece of like about a thumb size of ginger I've got four carrots um, three celeries and half of one of those big cucumbers and they're just gonna wash all of this and juice and there it is look at that beautiful juice really beautiful all right, so I usually put lemon in my juice too, and I didn't this time, but I'm still gonna get my lemon detoxification today and plenty of water. <laughs> Love this huge mason jar. I'm actually pouring the leftovers from my juice, juicer into the compost bin, and uh, it's actually a very darker color for the soil in here and then I'll um, mix that in. I'm going to be having here um, about a cup and a half or two cups of the Czech cereal and some vitamin C here, strawberries, and I put some almond milk in it. Um, with two cups, that actually meets 100% of the iron daily allowance, which I'm also going to up more iron today, but not too shabby. I'm from World Market and I picked up some sesame seeds. They have some really cheap spices, but they're really good from all over the world. And I just wanted to point out that uh, sesame seeds have uh, on one tablespoon and one tablespoon have nine grams of iron in them. So uh, which is really, really good. Um, and then I picked up some of this chana masala. Actually, I was watching shenanigans and she picked up some of these. And so I saw this, and this one um, is all uh, um, vegan. There's no animal products in it. And um, I noticed that there's this uh, serving of this, which is half of a packet, is like 11 percent iron, I think it is. And, um, which is actually pretty good. Um, and so, I'm guessing that's because of the garbanzos that are in there because a serving of these garbanzos here is 
of the recommended daily allowance. So it's a really nice way to have it. And you know, to have it on some rice. I do like the white rice, but for iron, this is only 2% um, iron in that serving. It's like a quarter cup uncooked, three quarter cups cooked. Same thing with the brown rice, but the brown rice has, I believe it's 6% as opposed to the two um, of iron. Oh, it's 8%, so that's even better. So there's a difference there. So the brown rice with the masala, maybe a few extra chickpeas and some sesame seeds should really bring up the iron bunches. So what I decided to do, this is for dinner, is I've got my brown rice in here and it's going to go in my rice cooker and I'm actually putting even more water and liquid in it because I want it to be more like a congee. Um, it kind of helps with the digestion for me because if it's too dry, it really kind of, it doesn't feel very good. So I'm going to put this tomatoes, okra, and corn in there um, as well. This doesn't have any sort of um, weird BPA lining or anything like that. I'm going to put in some garbanzo beans um, added. I'm going to put in this whole thing with chana masala, um, all these um, little tomatoes here and then um, these frozen petite peas. So this is really gonna be a boosting iron um, meal. So that's what I'm probably gonna have some for dinner and I'm gonna share. A couple of um, quick points out of this book here, Simply Vegan. It's a great book uh, by Reed Mangles, PhD, registered dietitian. So a couple of things that he mentions is that it's easy to obtain plenty of iron on a vegan diet. Um, and then also, the RDA of basically an adult woman would be 15 milligrams. Men in postmenopausal women need about one third, which is about 10 milligrams daily. Um, I would say, you know, I mean, for me, it seems like I need a little bit more just because I have such an absorption issue. Um, some foods reduce iron absorption. Tea, specifically, if you're a tea drinker, it has tannin in it, which binds iron in the intestines and decreases its absorption. So if you drink tea, do it between the meals and herbal teas. Um, you can do four meals. All right, you guys, have a great day.